Well, hello and happy Thursday to you. I'm Crystal, and this is Three Things on Thursdays. That's right, I'm going to be talking about three things that I have been reading, watching, and listening to this past week. I've been listening to the new single by Coheed and Cambria. It's no secret, I enjoy that band a lot. I think they're fantastic. I've been listening to them since high school. So, <laughs> humble brag. It's a stupid brag. It's dumb. Don't even listen to that. Just skip to now on the video. And <laughs> they dropped a new single and I put it onto my three things playlist, which you can find by going to my website, which is beacons.ai slash I'm Crystal. It'll be linked in the comment below. It's on my link in my bio if you're depending on where you're watching this. So, you know, I made it easy, but you can listen to it there. The single is called The Liars Club. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the songs because there's one that there's no way. And I don't want to look like an idiot any more than I already do. So go listen to it. The thing that I've been watching this week is my wife and I decided this time around, instead of watching episode by episode of The Book of Boba Fett, we're just going to sit and watch the entire thing in two sittings. Because, you know, the logic of, hey, do you want to watch an eight-hour movie? <laughs> no. Do you want to watch eight one-hour episodes in one sitting? Maybe. Definitely if you cut it into two. And so that's what we did. We watched the episodes over two days, and we just watched the whole thing. And a bunch of people I'd heard be like, oh, you just got to struggle through the first four episodes, and then it gets really good. And maybe it's because I'm not a Star Wars person, and it doesn't run in my blood like it does for my wife. I'm a Star Trek person. And so opposites really do attract. <laughs> but I liked the first four episodes more than I liked the last three episodes. And here's why. And I'm not going to give anything away, I don't think. And if I do, stars. I want the book of Boba Fett to be about Boba Fett. I don't want it to be about the Mandalorian. He already has a show. I like that show. If I want to watch that show and watch more about him, I'll watch his show. If I want to watch the show about Boba Fett and learn more about his character and where he came from and how he got to be how he is, that's why I want to watch the book of Boba Fett. So give me that. And it just felt like the first four episodes, they were. And then they weren't. And I was bummed out. But that's my gripe. But I still liked it. It was enjoyable. I like the character stuff. I like the development. I like to see where people came from. I enjoy backstories and I enjoy well-told stories. You could cut out almost an episode and a half and it would still be the story of Boba Fett. If you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. But that's what we watched. Yep, that's what we watched. What I read this week was a collection of tales of the X-Men fighting vampires specifically i didn't know that storm had so much history with dracula but it turns out she does even going back to chris claremont's run on the original uncanny x-men which he's going to be at the cincinnati comic expo and it's going to be fantastic and i'm going to pay whatever money i need to to get his autograph probably on my wolverine number one and when I get in front of him, I'm probably going to do what I did with Stan Lee and just forget everything that I planned on saying in like 15 seconds and just say blurt something stupid, which is basically what I'm doing to you right now. So you're welcome. But even on his run, right? Uncanny X-Men number 159. Look at the beauty of this 80s goodness comic. But even here, she was fighting with Dracula. And I just, I didn't, I didn't know she had that much history with him. But it's got a bunch of different characters fighting different different teams that are fighting. <clears throat> I can go to any page. There's Blade, because turns out he's actually a mutant, so that's what's up. But it just gives a bunch of different short stories of different X-Men fighting different vampires. And because it's a collected thing of different stories, there's a bunch of different artists. So there's a bunch of different takes on what vampires look like. And it was just a really fun book for me to read because I enjoy vampires. I think they're fascinating. So it was a great book for me because X-Men, vampires, right up this guy's alley. But those are the three things I've been watching, reading, and listening to this past week. Remember, go to the website, find the link, 
to my Three Things playlist on Spotify. Listen to the new Coheed single. Let me know what you think. And I'll just talk to you next week because I don't have a witty ending.